And we're enjoying the summer. Well, I am. You're not, are you? No, I can't stand all that hot weather. look so excited about packages can mean only one thing. I'm about to do a luxury haul from Farfetch. Farfetch makes me so excited. I have worked with them before and you, most of you know what Farfetch is. It is a website that gathers designer luxury items from all over the globe, which means whatever we want in whatever country, we can order on Farfetch and we don't pay the import duties. And they send it as quickly as Amazon. I'm not joking, it, well, almost as quick. It almost arrives, I don't know how they do it. For example, both these packages I've just seen come from the Netherlands, but I'm ordering, um, d I'm ordering three pieces which come from, I think one is from Italy, one is from Australia, and I can't remember where the other one is from, but um, so it's, oh, Italy again. Both two from Italy, one from Australia, and they just arrive in a couple of days time and they pay the import duties. So Farfetch, and let me do this right at the beginning, because this might encourage you to look at the website. The way to shop on Farfetch is when you can get a discount code. And I get them occasionally when Farfetch want to work with me. So they are offering 10% off for new subscribers if you've never subscribed before. But it is a really good deal. And um, so this, this is, I got this from my last Farfetch haul and it is an Australian brand called Alame. I have worn this to a wedding. I wore it to Chelsea. I have worn it to just sit in the park and have a picnic. Um, I have worn it to work. I don't know if it's the details. Look at this. And I was sitting talking to someone at a dinner party and he was mesmerized <laughs> by this. I know, don't get the wrong idea. He went, that's just, he said, your dress is like Picasso. It's 100% linen. It is beautiful and it's got pockets. It is still on the Farfetch website, or it was when I was uh, filming this. But because I love this uh, Australian label so much, I've chosen a dress from another Australian label, which I never, ever, ever thought I could afford. Um, but I have. But I'm gonna start off, so that is the dress. I haven't opened these yet. This flew open and I can feel by the weight this isn't the other item. So I'm gonna save the dress till last. So, Farfetch, truly, as I'm opening this, and I'm really bad at opening parcels, also I have blunt scissors. Uh, ah. Gosh, right, sorry everybody. Philippe. You may need to, see I should really be careful in case I have to send them back but there's no way I'm sending any of this back. <laughs> so you may need to do a time check, a time, so bad. This will all go in the recycling, don't worry. Okay, so that did go on a bit so we cut there. I promise you all these boxes are going to be recycled. Okay, so this is my first purchase, there are three. I have wanted for so long Chloe boots and they are always out of my price range. My boots I wear, I've worn for years. I have a knee-high pair of Ravel boots I have worn for years. I've had them repaired so many times. I now need new boots basically for certain dresses. So I wanted knee-high boots and I've chosen Chloe. Here we go. These are the Chloe boots. Now I've not opened any of these. I swear on my mother's life I've not seen any of this, so you are looking at this with me. <gasps> the dust bag, see this is a clue as to how long the Chloe boots are. Chloe, I mean I'd settle for the Chloe dust bag, to be honest. Oh my, be ready. Just look. 
I mean, I'm showing you the covered heel first and also the height of the heel. Very discreet for me. And the boot just now. They're coming up on the camera quite orange. They are not. They are like a lovely tan, the Chloe tan. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So these I am going to wear with my maxi skirts and my on the knee skirt as well. And smell of leather just perfect perfect boots like this are an investment just look at that block heel look how it's covered look at the detail shall i try them on for you now rather than wait till the end they're just oh my gosh they're just adorable they are and these are a sensible height for me but take all the stuffing so excited. Okay, I'm gonna try these on. The most beautiful soft tan, so comfortable, really lovely leather, but what I used to call my pencil case leather. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boots. My first Chloe boots. And also, because I have to appreciate this hot weather isn't going to last forever, these are the perfect autumn boots. So I've styled them up with an Agnes B set. Well, um, a Margaret Howell cashmere sweater and my Agnes B skirt and my Chloe boots. I think you'll agree it's rather fetching. So the dog that you just saw me with up on the roof is my neighbour's dog. I haven't swapped Myrtle, I promise you. So my second uh, package, I've got three packages. I'm saving the dress till last. And speaking of dresses, as I said right at the top, this is an Australian label called Alame. It is still on Firefetch. And don't forget that you get 10% off everything. New subscribers and existing subscribers if you use Joe 10. But now... This is my second purchase. I have never invested in belts, and I'm learning that accessories, boots, bags, belts, are really important, especially if you mix them with more high street, affordable fashion. Um, you will have seen, so I'm let me into a secret, move all these boxes. This belt that I'm wearing, so many of you comment on it, it is literally falling apart. Let me show you this. I bought this in a charity shop on Maranbone High Street, uh, I think five years ago. It is plastic. It is plastic. It is literally peeling. So look at this. It's just peeling. And I did a Q&A on stage with Julian Clary and I left bits of my belt all over the stage. I was a little bit embarrassed, but no one, only me, noticed. I do it up with an elastic band. I mean, that's, that's how shoddy it is but it's really difficult to get a big wide belt and what I always wanted was a, a, a I don't know what they call these belts anyway I saw one on Farfetch I don't even know if it fits because I don't know how you measure belts I know you, you probably go around your waist but I don't know how much extra you need so bear with me this belt if it doesn't fit I am going to be sending this back came from Browns but it's uh, black and a brown is the label. Um, so Farfetch sourced it from Browns because they sent a little card. Oh gosh, I can already, so this is 100% this is leather, not plastic. I'm just hoping this is going to fit because these are so flattering. I don't have a waist, 
So belts like this make me look like I have a waist. Hopefully, it'd be best to undo it like this. Oh my gosh, this is exactly. <gasps> so do you see how it does it up? I'm just hoping this is going to be small enough because I actually don't have a small waist, even though I'm small. I may have to exchange it. Oh no, surely that, no, I'll fit into it. So shall I try it on? I'll try it on. I'm gonna wear it with this dress, but I wear the, this thick belt with so many dresses and skirts to make it look as though I have a waist. I love the smell, oh my gosh. So yeah, this is the first quality belt I have ever owned. Let's hope it fits. It is perfect. Now, I'm no longer ashamed of my peeling black plastic belt. Just look at this. Look how flattering it is. I have no waist, I've never had a waist, but cinch, I think is the word, it's uh, brown and black is the label. And I wear a lot of baggy, big linen dresses. And I also wear an evening skirt that, um, I wear with a big belt and I stopped wearing it because I was so ashamed of my plastic belt. Look at it, look at the, it's just beautiful. Black and brown or brown and black. I have to check it out, it's so flattering. I'll show you it with the evening skirt so you'll see how I, I will wear this constantly in every season. Just quickly, this is the evening skirt you're all familiar with, it's my Giles evening skirt. And look how it works with this, this Giles skirt only has a tiny waistband and I like to look as though I have a waist so this fits it perfectly. There. Oh my gosh, that is an investment piece. Brown and black or black and brown, I'll put it on the screen. 10% off, use the code. Okay, now for my final piece from Farfetch and uh, it's a dress. I love dresses as you know and as i've said i'm preparing for the summer to move into autumn i've got my chloe boots and i love to wear a, a knee-high boot with a lovely flowy dress maxi dresses midi dresses the dress i have here is from zimmerman now zimmerman like this is an australian label uh, you can get them uh, over here but there isn't a great deal of choice farfetch have a great deal of choice and again you have the code this is the sort of colour that really, being blonde, this colour really suits me. So again, I'm opening, well I think it suits me, I'm opening this with you in the hope that it fits. The boots fit, this belt is the perfect fit because it came in all different lengths. This is the Zimmerman dress. I will tell you what size I got, but uh, the sizing because it's uh, international. And this came from Browns, so it came through uh, browns to Farfetch. Learning in, uh, leaning into something really good with browns looks like this. Um, and it came via Holland again. But as I say, it's all, it's, the delivery is so sharp and so quick. Now this is the most beautiful fabric. Um, Zimmerman's, as I say, very, very, very popular. Oh my gosh, so, ah, now I don't know if this is going to fit me. This looks absolutely tiny. I may have been a little bit over optimistic on the size of this, but just look, just look at the fabric, look at the print. It is a wraparound, which with a Chloe boot, look at the hem. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to steam this before I put it on. And I don't even know if it's going to fit. It does look tiny. I may have got the tiniest. I'll let you know. Please let it fit. But do you not agree this is good for my colouring? Oh my gosh. This is perfect. So it fits like a dream. It's wrap around. The sleeves, it's 100% cotton. The sleeves, you could have full length like this. But I like to pull them up. And then maybe on a cool evening, pull them down. But there's so much material in them 
that you can have them like this and they hang, the weight on them is perfect. It is beautiful, I love the colour. So I'm gonna go up on the roof so I can show you it in its entirety. I'm wearing it with my Aquazura kitten heels, Aquazura kitten heels that I got from the consignment store on last week's vlog, and I'm wearing them with my Chloe boots that I got from Farfetch from this haul. Don't forget, if you use my code, you get 10% off. Let me go up on the roof and show you this glorious dress. Gosh, I've come back in, it is really lovely up on the roof. So that is it, I think you'll agree, investment pieces, this is just stunning. This dress, Zimmerman, the Chloe boots, and the black and brown, it's black and brown, the belt, which actually I could wear with this as well, but I like the side sash on this. Um, yeah, Farfetch, a fantastic website, and as I say, they are, the customer service is like none other. If you have any complaints, not that you will have, they are quick to react and very quick to send out whatever you order from all over the world. So 10% off. Now let's get on with the vlog. What am I going to wear for the next chapter, I wonder? Good, you got your seatbelt? All ready for the journey? All ready? You ready, Mert? It's going to be a very, very, very hot day. Very hot day, but we're going on an adventure. Good morning, everybody. I don't actually know how much you can see because the sun is shining everywhere. Um, I know I go on about I love London. I do, I love London, but it is hot and I miss the sea. So I have literally woken up really early, belted Myrtle in, and Myrtle and I are going down to the seaside. That's a bit of a lie because Myrtle won't be going onto the beach. I'm gonna drop her off at my mum's so she can have a lovely cool time in my mum's garden and I'm gonna go down to the beach. I have to get into the sea. I truly have to get into the sea. I just, I just need to swim. And the water, when I was at Klimping, is so warm off the south coast at the moment so I just thought I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna head down there um, have a, have a swim and then head back to London <laughs> it's ridiculous I mean I could swim in the serpentine but I want to swim in the sea right gosh look at the Sun it's only half past six in the morning and look it's already kicking off are we ready off on our adventures off on our adventures Mert off on our adventures I've only just, oh, if I come here, is that better? I've only just, oh, lots of wind arrived. I haven't got into the sea yet, um, but I've got to stop off to see my friend Bibi. She is literally, she's like going to therapy. Bibi and I, Bibi Lynch, the wonderful Bibi Lynch, broadcaster, journalist, lives um, here in Hove, actually, and uh, She's in the middle of writing, but I just said, Bibi, I'm in Brighton, I'm in Brighton. Can we meet? So we always meet in Morocco's, which is um, a very famous ice cream parlor. And I'm late. She may not be very pleased, but look at this. So I've managed to park but I have yet to get a ticket, a parking ticket, so 
I am really risking it. I don't even know where the machine is, but I'll try and find it. Phoebe. Oh, Joe, thank you for giving me so much notice. <laughs> would you do this for any... I wouldn't. If someone did this to me, I literally would just say I'm busy. Actually, I probably wouldn't answer the phone. No, I wouldn't. I'll tell you who I do it for. A young Elvis Presley, a current day Stephen Gerrard, and you, Joanne Good. <laughs> How do well, I look? Shiny? You look gorgeous. If you follow me on YouTube, which I hope you do, um, Bibi and I, this is where we always meet, because I can park Hi, outside. And last time, you were in your dad's sweater, <laughs> and I was in a Primark special covered in pom-poms, uh, uh, and we had Paul Gilbert, oh, the lawyer. I love, well, I need a lawyer. Yeah, I think yeah. we all do. But um, Bibi does live, she lives on the boundary of Brighton and Hope. Yeah. Um, and um, I'm, oh, I miss this place in the summer. I miss it. Do you know what? So I've stepped out the flats now and I've been doing some writing and I won't tell you what it's about. It's top secret. Please tell us. No, I can't tell. I don't trust you with my information. And. <laughs> Best she doesn't. <laughs> and I was in the flat and I was just work, work, work. And when I stepped out, you just step out, you're like. You breathe properly, and you know I love London, you know I'm a London girl, but I feel like I'm cheating on London now with Hove, but I love Hove as well. I love both. Totally. Can you just tell everyone, I know you just skipped over that we're in Morocco, but is it true that you built Morocco? <laughs> You know what's so embarrassing is the daughter of uh, Frank, uh, the um, the original owner of Morocco, is, is a friend of Bibi's, and I have boasted to everyone that I helped save Morocco. And, and in my mind, I really did. It's just that um, when um, I did a radio show down here, this they this could have closed, and I started a petition saying Morocco's cannot close. This was 30 years ago. In my mind. I think I saved it. In actual fact, I don't think it was ever going to close. I don't think it was ever going to close. And, and in tribute to Joe um, saving Morocco's, there isn't an ice cream named after her. There is not an ice cream. There is nothing after her. Is there, is there a copper beach named after me? Because I also saved the copper beach at seven times. You are so busy. How do you have time to see Your city it? wouldn't be here. No, I know, Joe. It would not be here. But what's great about you is that you don't mention it. <laughs> Never mention it. And look at these. Joe, are you paying for these coffees? Yes. Do we pay when we leave, don't we? Well, Please tell me what you're writing. I'm not going to tell you. It's a, it's a probably Oscar-winning screenplay. When will we know? Oh, the Joe Good years. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to play you, Joe? That we need chapter 1 to 12, really. <laughs> right, we're going to crack on. I can't even do um, a time lapse, because anyone who lip reads will know that um, what we're talking about is hugely t litigious. Yeah. So um, that's it. I'm going to turn this off. Yeah. Well, I've just pulled up at Shoreham Beach. Um, <clears throat> I've left it so late in the day, I am literally going to jump in the sea, jump back in the car, go and pick up Myrtle at my mum's and drive back to London in time to do my radio show. I've left it, it's really late now, but I love evenings down here on the beach and I'm gonna get changed in the car. I have my two-piece you're all familiar with. My fake tan is in, so I've got a white stomach, Half my arms are brown, half my legs are brown, my feet are white, I look I look ridiculous. But do you know something? I don't really care. I just can't wait to get into the sea. Oh my goodness, you are literally gonna see my fake tan. My my tan ends at my knees. I don't care. I'm getting in there. I'm gonna splash about, have a bit of a swim. I've only got a hand towel with me. Then I'm gonna get back in my car and drive back to London. It was worth it. Well, I'll say that when I get out, but I'm hoping the sea is going to be warm.
Oh gosh, well that had to be the quickest swim on record. And you know, I, I don't know what this is gonna look like when I edit it. I was actually, it was only in the sea and I thought, what's that flapping around? I was wearing my strapless bra under my bikini because I had to get changed in this car. So I may not show you the shots in this two piece. I think I'll probably look dead. Actually I will, I don't really care. Oh, that was lovely. I could do the whole day down on the beach, but just that, a quick dip. And now I'm going to drive. I'm gonna get changed in my dress and drive back to, to the big smoke, as they say. Lovely day though, I've had such a lovely day. Well worth it. Hello everybody. So, guess who's here? It's not shining on you. It, no, it's shining on you. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to everyone, Woods, because you haven't seen everyone for ages. Oh, hello folks, how are you? <laughs> Um, we are at Sainsbury's, Mutti and I, doing, uh, I mean, very exciting and very glamorous. Um, and this is where we miss Matilda, don't we, Mutz? Oh, yes. Um, and Myrtle, as you know, won't walk. So, um, usually she's with us at the back, but she's, we're looking after her cousin, uh, Flora, another bulldog, and we've left them at home in Mutti's garden. They're quite happy, aren't they? Yeah, not on their own with their son. Yeah, well, my brother's there, yeah. But they, they, Myrtle keeps eating wasps and bees, doesn't she, Moots? Oh, yes, I, I think she must be liking the taste of them. I know, maybe it's the honey or something, so I have to keep giving her antihistamine, canine antihistamine. But anyway, is there anything you'd like to tell the good people, Mutti? Because they keep asking where you are. Anything, any message for Well, I'm leading a really lit lady's life nowadays. Joanne's doing all the work. Well, and I my just brother. Sit around. Yeah, my son. <laughs> and um, but Joanne's the one organising it all. Well, I'm not there all week. It's you know, it's a, it's a combined effort, isn't it? Really. Yeah. Um, and we're enjoying the summer. Well, I am. You're not, are you? No, I can't stand all that hot weather. That's why she didn't like Australia, isn't it? No, I liked Australia all right. It was the hot weather. Yeah, and the flies. Yeah, but you can manage those. We didn't have them in the house, did we? We had fly doors. Anyway, right, anything specific you want from Sainsbury's? Well, no, not really. Can't think of anything. She seems to get younger rather than older. Who? You. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. Why have you said that? <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. That's because you're losing your well, sight. <laughs> I don't think you realise how you're on the go all the time. Yeah, no, but that's... You seldom sit down in the I hate house. sitting down. Mutti hates it because I'll never sit down, will you? No. Will I? I know. She always says, now will you sit down? I don't want... I can't sit down. I don't understand why people sit down. Well, you... I think they're tired and their <laughs> legs get stiff. If they keep moving like you, it doesn't happen. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm off to. I'm going on a yoga retreat um, in a couple of weeks, so that will oil the old body. Well, I will agree. Yoga is the one thing that does work. Yeah, it does. It but does. you've got to do it seriously. I am doing it seriously. I know you do. I was saying some people that tell me I'm doing yoga now, and then the next mouthful they say I'm having to miss it next week. I've got to miss it. They're not really doing it as serious. No, you're right. Actually, it's like it, you can't say I'm going to miss it. Why do I do? I've, I missed months. But if you're practicing, you practice, don't you, Mutz? Yeah, that's the thing. You don't have to do all those very extreme movements. You can find some good ones that are just keeping your legs and leg ligaments and things like that active. Yeah. yeah. Without being in agony. But yeah. Those other people, they've probably done it years and years and years. Because the more you do it, the more lithe you get. Lithe is yes. such a great word. You're still lithe, aren't you? <laughs> no. You are lithe. You just, you've lost some of your strength, but you're still very flexible. But I can't, I, I bet I wouldn't be able to run now. Well, you can't actually walk that well, so running is, I mean, no, you wouldn't be able to you, run. You think the tennis I've played up? Well, you're 97, you're not going to be running around a tennis court. Well, I, if I'd kept it up, I probably could have done. I don't know, Moses. I mean, I don't think I could run around a tennis court, to be honest. I remember the last bit. 
I ever had to do with tennis is when we went to the back all round here. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. And saw all those lovely old houses we didn't know were there. Yeah, it's lovely actually. Where we are now, yeah, but at the back of Sainsbury's, are some lovely tennis it's courts. It's like old England. Yeah, it's really and lovely. It's kept up nicely. Yeah, and uh, some lovely old houses. We like going around there. Right, I better go and do the shopping. Say goodbye, Yeah, Mods. That's where our tennis court was. Yeah, yeah, at the back of Sainsbury's. Mut, say goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello Jane, Hi. and you're a subscriber, yeah. and you live in Horsham. I don't, we're just visiting for the day, we live in Surrey. But oh my gosh, so you're down here and you've seen, this is my mum, this is Mutti. She's dancing Mutti. around. Yeah, no, <laughs> any opportunity to dance around. Mutti, this is a subscriber to the YouTube channel. Oh! Yes, this is my very famous mother. Yeah, she's, really famous. she's been spotted in Sainsbury's, oh, which is, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so, well, I'm 64, really. I'm 64. Oh, 64. Oh, so, listen, aren't we lucky? So she arranged it for yeah, me, totally, so. totally. <laughs> What a beautiful morning. I know I've worn this dress throughout most of this vlog. It's just that it's so lovely and cool and suitable. I can't wear these glasses because they annoy all of you. They annoy me. I actually only wear them to keep my hair back. And the frames suit this dress. Right. Okay, so I am setting off. Do you know, somebody commented under my vlog last week and went, oh my gosh, Joe, the noise in London. And it's only now, after that comment, I just, I notice there is constant noise. Even when I come home at half past one in the morning, there is still all this noise and deliveries and everything else, but I just don't even notice it. It's part of London life. So, I am very excited because I'm having breakfast in the Barbican. Um, this morning, it's an early start. I have literally had three and a half hours sleep because, and if you're eating, if um, you're not that dog friendly, turn me down a, mo a notch now because I'm just going to say that uh, last night, well not last night, two o'clock this morning, Myrtle projectile vomited over my duvet. So I now have, when I get back from the Barbican, to take the duvet to the laundry and get it laundered professionally. Um, she's fine. You know what it was? It was part of her reindeer antler. And I've got a feeling, actually, they're not that good for her, so I'm going to stop giving her those. And I've stopped giving her the yak stick. So I've stopped giving her chews. It's just the bits get stuck in her stomach. Anyway, enough of that. Turn me back up. Um, so yes, very little sleep. You can probably hear asthma. I don't know if it is asthma. I think it's hay fever. Um, gosh, that's my phone. I'm probably late. Anyway, I don't care if I have little sleep when it's a gorgeous day like this. Um, going to the barbican, going to someone's apartment. Doubt if I'll be allowed to film in the apartment because it is someone quite well known. Right, getting the tube. As I say, going underground into human soup. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just have to show you this. This is a picture of me <laughs> just two minutes ago talking to you whilst walking past my friend's house. Joss Van Tyler, the actor, has just taken a photograph of me walking past his house whilst vlogging. And he's just said, um, I'm obsessed with you, Joe." at the speed at which you walk and film, I know. 
I do walk and talk very quickly. That is so funny. See, you never know who's watching. Right, oh my gosh, the queue for Madame Two Swords has started. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I'm not gonna tell you where, which block I'm in. All I can say is, this is mind blowing. I've only ever been here in the wind and the rain and it's really frustrated me. On a day like this, I am in awe. I'm in total awe of this place. My eyes haven't opened. Early morning breakfasts with friends. I do need, honestly, a bit more warning. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll use my eye LED a bit later. Right. And is oh, I just want to get that look. That was amazing. I'm won over by that. I just, you know, I was talking last week on the vlog about different chapters in people's lives and living right in the heart of old London, in the city of London. You could just feel the energy, it's amazing and quieter than where I live, funnily enough. Anyway, going back underground now. Right, is the moon. So where's the moon, Mel? Look, there's loads of police. There's loads of police. Yeah, Everyone. Can you see all the blue lights? It's outside that hotel that... Um... Oh, the w hotel with tiles. Good God. Oh, I'll tell you a story about it. Oh, tell me. Hotel. I can't do it on camera. No, don't do it on camera. <laughs> well, where is the moon? Dave's here. Oh, oh okay. Dave, have you seen the moon? She asked me to go to moon. <laughs> I didn't say moon. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moon out tonight. Oh, Can oh, you oh. imagine? If we turned up and Dave's mooning. <laughs> Can you imagine? Just like full you want a full moon? I'll show you a full moon. Dave, you're building your part up. Oh, no, God, I'm getting I'm getting triple uh, uh, XXX um, You will You will. I'll be I'll be um outed by YouTube. Well, is there I can't see any moon. I think it's around the other side. Oh it's around the other side. We've got to go around the other by the Langham. Right, Bye right. Mel. Bye Mel. Right. Oh my gosh, it's still quite warm actually, it's not too bad. Ah!
There we go. So it is, when you're watching this, this was the night of the super moon, uh, Friday night, and well, it's actually Friday morning, should I say now? I'm on moon, I'm on moon alert. If I sit, I'll interrupt. Please, you if you, through. if, if you see the moon, let yeah. us know. Um, and can I just say to everybody, I've had a great week, a very, very busy week. It was nice to jump into the sea. It was wonderful to go to the Barbican. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the clip with my mum. Um, and her doing a little bit of filming because I know you all miss my mum when she's not on and she misses, she loves being on the vlog um, and that is it I suppose from me can I also say don't forget if you are into your fashion and you fancy um, having a good look at Farfetch you get 10% off and the sale is still on um, what other, oh, so, ah Right, big announcement, big announcement. Yeah, there's the moon. Where? Right there. Hold on, can I go through your roof? No, can no, we... No, through that window there. This window. Oh, gosh. Look, everybody, I'm going to zoom in, Dave. Yeah. I'm zooming in. Look at that. Oh, it's got a bit fuzzy. Wow. You can see the craters. Don't think you can on camera. Wow, that is amazing over the Langham Hotel everybody um, thank you Dave for that so now we have seen the super moon um, it is confirmed um, can I just say that um, when I get to 50,000 subscribers and I am only 2,000 off I'm going to do a live Q&A on Instagram um, and um, answer any questions you want. No, not on Instagram, not on Instagram. I'm going to do it because it's YouTube that I've got the subscribers. So I'm going to do a live Q&A on YouTube um, and I will ask you for the questions that you would like to ask me. And I literally, with Philippe, in all honesty, whatever you ask, I will answer. Um, and I will give you warning. You'll have to send me the questions um, either on email or on Instagram, but I'll, it's all very convoluted, but I promise you we will do it the moment I reach 50,000. <sighs> 2,000 away, so if all of you just told a friend, now I'm begging, I'll, I'll leave it there. Have a great weekend, have a great week, I'll catch up with you next Sunday. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye, see you next week. He might even moon next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking.